Do you feel frustrated at your slow sight reading levels? Don't you wish you could do what the pros do to easily and quickly play through songs without much practice? Hi guys, it's Jayza, your piano teacher, and in this lesson, I'm going to share with you a really cool sight reading hack that I invented that includes this piece of cloth. This piece of cloth is going to increase your sight reading level by five times, so stick around and let's find out how. Sight reading is a really tricky skill that many people here struggle with, including myself. If you can relate, comment the word me down below. I've taught piano for many years and I see that students continue to struggle with this problem because they sight read the wrong way. Here's one of the greatest tips I have for you when you are sight reading on the piano. Stop looking at your hands. Now this was a game changer for me. I started realizing looking at your hands was a big problem when I realized that when I was looking at the sheet music and I looked down at my hands to find where things were and I looked back up again and I looked down and look up and look down, I kept needing to agonizingly find which part of the music I got up to and this just made the whole process really slow and laggy. I couldn't keep in time with the music and it just tires your brain out so much. You might be wondering why piano students look at their hands when they side read. There's a very good reason for that. They are trying to find assurance by looking at the fingers because they don't want to play the wrong stuff. So it comes from a good place. However, if you do want to take your sight reading to that next level, you do have to try to force yourself to not look at your hands. You want to be able to build that good spatial awareness and to free your brain up to look straight at the music and to see which bits of music are coming up so that you can get to those parts in time and not do this sort of up down up down thing and to have the whole music played really really laggy and slowly and with a whole bunch of stops. Okay I see students doing this all the time right so they're looking at the sheet music and for example here they see a B so they they look down at their, your hands to, to get that first B which is fair enough you know you want to get your first note but then they sort of keep doing this sort of up and down thing up down up down <laughs> and then they get super frustrated. What I want you to try to do is to get to this E without looking. So looking straight up, as opposed to doing this. Okay, time for the good stuff. Let's see how this piece of cloth is going to help improve our sight reading by five times. Now, here's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to put uh, one side of it and tuck that into your shirt like this and then uh, with the other side I would like you to tuck that into the piano. Now I've got a grand piano here so this just goes behind the lid. If you have an upright piano or a digital piano uh, you'll have to just find some other way to clip it in. And I'm going to side read this piece uh, without looking at my hands. So I'm going to be side reading uh, this piece from the Disney jazz, Disney's Jazz Book. Everybody wants to be a cat. Let's see how this goes. So maybe I'll just try and quickly find my first spots before I start. And let's see how this goes. Okay, and that's how it works. So this is the end of the lesson today. I'm quite interested at how you go with this. So go and try it and leave your comments down in the comments below about how you went with it. Did you like it? Did it work? Did it not work? Let me know. If you're interested to learn more about sight reading, go and click on my sight reading video where I did three tips on how you can quickly master and improve your sight reading. I'm Jayza, subscribe to this channel for more awesome piano lessons and tutorials, and I'll catch you in the next one.